everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Tonight, we're going to make some lasagna. We've done made it twice and something happened that he didn't get it finished, so. Well, we've tried to put it on a couple times and it's always been right. something, something's happened. So the so computer would break finish, or. We didn't get to finish it. Yeah. So anyhow, we're going to see what we can get done tonight. All right, let's get the hamburger going. Frying here. So this is Brenda's Appalachian Ham lasagna. Lasagna. This is the third time's always supposed to be the charm, so let's hope it is. I'm gonna tell you, this is the best tool they ever made for hamburger. I never even knew they made it till I seen it on YouTube one time. And I said, well, they don't that thing work good. Well, there's all kinds of new inventions and things out nowadays we don't know about. Yeah, I'm learning. I just get on there and look at kitchen tools and. Looks like you got the old salad master pan out. Yep. Mom's old salad master. Same pan. as these. These have just got more metal. I had to put new handles on it. The other. This is a good skill. It's pretty yeah. big. I don't think it's gonna be big enough for myself, but it might be. Don't you start hollering down there, boy. Well. Um, he's the biggest mama's boy there ever was. See, he's standing here beside mommy, thinks mommy's gonna let him out, and I'm not. Well, he just came in. So, there's lots of ways people do lasagna. This is your style that's different from everybody else's, I guess. Not really a whole lot, but we'll see. You've been making this for how long? Long time. Ever since I learned to make it, probably in my 20s, in my early 20s. And you're what ninety now? So that's been a long time. <laughs> Wonder how far this, how how good this flies through the air, the cameraman. <laughs> it does look like a bomb. Well, we'll see if it feels like a bomb or a rock. I mean, like one of them things they dropped out of the <laughs> airplane. Get some hamburger on you. <clears throat> He's just sitting there looking at me. It's ready to get started, but he just came in and it's cold out there. We still have frozen ice on the ground. I don't want no big chunks in it. We've started this several times and just something would happen. The, the, your old Galaxy 1 blew up one time. We tried to do it and the computer crashed. But this has kind of been something we've been wanting to do for a long time. I would say my seasonings will be a little bit different than other people's. There's <clears throat> old faithful chili powder. I didn't know it, but my daughter and granddaughter uses it too. They experiment too, but I guess my daughter probably learned from me and maybe my granddaughter. I don't know. My daughter makes things and my granddaughter makes things and they don't use the same seasons, but my granddaughter uses the chili powder. Well, they're vegetarians too, ain't they? Yeah, but they eat home. Well, they'll eat chicken, but on chicken, to me, if you go eat meat off of one carcass, you might as well eat it off of another. They just don't eat red meat and pork. My granddaughter doesn't. My daughter will well, take. They, a, my daughter will take a few bites of steak every now and then. Well, if they eat chicken, they probably eat buzzards and crow and <laughs> a little bit of turkey. Huh. Well, red meat really isn't that good for you. Neither is pork because they're fatty meat. You know, they got a lot of fats. Chicken does too, but they're like me. We take all that mess off of their ooh. I can't eat that old yellow fatty stuff on chicken and ugh. I think it's good. I know you do. He'll suck out bone plum dry. You give him a chicken leg or any kind of chicken, and y'all, you get back a bone. He sucks everything off of it. Cleans that bone off good. Not me. I, I eat the white meat normally, and I pick it off easy. I don't even take a big bite. I, I pick it off. I'm going to waste none Poor chicken gave its life for me to eat it. Well, I'll give my part to Spaz. He loves chicken, too. All right, so what's happening here? Well, I'm going to cook this hamburger, and I'm going to go ahead and put some... Um, I think I'll go ahead and cook this stuff with it. I got a, a heaping teaspoon of garlic. <clears throat> that looked too big. Well, it was. It was a teaspoon and a half. <laughs> well, a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. So I'd say I had the teaspoon and a half, which is fine. And I'm going to dump the peppers and onions in there, too. So you just kind of like browning that meat? And yeah, just, I'm going to cook the meat. I'm going to cook the meat so I can drain it good. I don't want that meat fat coming up in my lasagna because well, it will make it too greasy. Can you do that before you put all the stuff in it? or You, you can, to... but I don't want to. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. 
I'll still have to drain it, but you know, this will absorb a little bit of it, which makes it tastier. So I've got about a cup of each. Probably about a cup. Those are about a cup. They're actually four ounces. So anyway, um, we'll be back in a few minutes. Let me get so, this cooked up and we'll be back. All right. Okay, my water's boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and put my pasta in. I got salt wa salty water. So you just added some salt to that water. Mm -hmm. And you got that, that's ready. And I'm going to go cook nine noodles right now. If I have stuff left, I'll cook some more. So what all do you have to do to that still? I drained it. Okay. As long as I just drained it. And, um... I'm going to add the rest of my stuff. I'm wondering if I should put it in a bigger skillet. And by the way, I cut my mushrooms down. They were fresh mushrooms, but I cut them down. So it wouldn't just be big old chunks. It's smaller chunks. It looks nicer. Look how pretty that is. Oh, you didn't show that a minute ago. You had some in that bowl. Well, I'm telling it now. Let's put about... Well, it does smell good. About a half a teaspoon of chili powder. I use it in my spaghetti. Most time when I make a pasta sauce, I do use it. It's good. It's good. It's not just for chili. You can use it in the other things. I also use a little bit of crushed red pepper. Little crushed red peppers. You put as many as you think you would like. It just flavors it a little bit. It doesn't make them hot. So I probably put about 10 flakes, maybe 12, 14, somewhere in that area. Okay, and I've already got them open here. So I'm going to add these two cans of tomatoes. And I have got, um, I also don't want big chunks of tomatoes. So I've got petite diced, petite diced and peeled. I have tomatoes that I can, but I wanted this kind. I've got stewed tomatoes that I can. How come you didn't use them? I want. I just told you. I, I've got my vegetables in here already. Oh. I like to cut up the fresh vegetables like that, which probably could still do <clears> more, <throat> but I usually put a whole lot in mine anyway. That probably wasn't enough chili powder or hot peppers. Well, you just got it kind of like on medium now or something? Yes low or something and here's a can of pasta sauce and use it any kind you want this is the cheapest one out there and I season my own just anyway so it doesn't matter I never will forget mommy saying get all that out of there it was something that grew up with me so get all that out of there well, we didn't have a whole lot, so every little bit helped make whatever we was cooking. Some people use what they call marinara sauce. I use pasta sauce. That was that can right there, like a skitty sauce? Yeah, it's yeah. pasta. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's premium, it's just cheaper than all of them and it, it does the same thing. Hunt's is a good brand. It's always been a good brand. I like it. I've always used it. And I got chunks in mine already. I don't need those jars of chunky. If you're not going to put any kind of vegetables or anything, if you're not going to cut them up, it'd be best to get chunky and you'd probably need more than one can or more than one jar. Spaz, no. Can we let him out? No, he don't need to go back out. It's the dark. foxes will get him. We're or the coyotes. We got a couple of foxes and a coyote coming around some. Well, the neighbor seen them on his camera. I usually put a little bit of sugar in this, and I'm going to do it again today. Oh, all right, David. Um, Watch something jinx this show like the others that light a burn out oh, or something. I hope not. It better not burn out. Because we have we've tried this lasagna show more than once. We've tried it three times. I put a tablespoon of brown sugar, and that's probably enough. You don't something. want it sweet, just take a bitterness out of the Something tomatoes. always jinxes show. Some does. It seems like it does. 
But y'all finish it, but we won't be able to see it. We don't have a good light. You'll have to go get one of your shop lights, I reckon. <laughs> I guess I could rig up something, though. That's what that one is up there is an old shop light. It works good, though. It's pretty bright. Well, we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to let this simmer a little bit and get my noodles done. Okay. I'm trying to rinse these noodles a little bit. I mean, not rinse them, but cool them. So you cooked them things down pretty good, and now you're going to try to cool them off. Yep. They're, you got to cool them so you can work with them. <clears throat> okay, listen, I forgot that I added about a, tea, about a teaspoon of Italian seasonings in here. A teaspoon? Yes. Look how pretty that is. Looks so pretty, don't it? it smells good, I tell well, you Well, here, that. let's give you a taste and let you see what you think. Look how dirty I've got the stuff. <laughs> I always get this stuff so dirty. Well, that's what they're for. I'm very messy when I cook. Because you're in a hurry. Mmm. <laughs> Did you even have time to taste it? Dang, that's good. All right, well, good. Man, we could eat that with nothing else, honey. <laughs> well, you want to buy what? Well, it doesn't taste like chili beans, or does no, it? No, they don't taste like chili or nothing. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to... You going to stick that spoon you add in in my... Yeah. I can't believe you just did that. There's getting germs in it. It's hot. Well, I mean, you're the only two that's going to be eating it anyway. I kissed you, so I guess a couple germs ain't going to hurt. We should be over the germs from COVID, though we ain't over all the symptoms. <clears throat> I, I know I'm not. I still got some upper respiratory stuff, and he still does too, and coughing. Mm. But he's just been about 14 days now. Today makes my 12th day. Man, that's good. Today makes my 11th day. Thank you. Well, thank you, husband. Thank you so much. All right, let's make those turn that off too. And let's make us a cheese sauce to go on it. Okay, we're supposed to be use about, it depends on how much you're <coughs> going to make, but I'm going to use most all of this. And this is 24 ounces. That right there is good enough for a meal. Well, thank you. I don't know what you'd call it. I'm going to keep a little bit of Half taco. I mean, half uh, lasagna. Now, you can use ricotta or cottage. I like, I like, I don't mind using the cottage cheese. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's still good. Would you put that whole tub good. in it? Most of it. Most of it? Most of 24 ounces. Ooh, I don't like cottage cheese. You do in this. You never know what I'm putting in here, do you? Mm-mm. Okay, I'm putting about a half of a, maybe a half a cup of Parmesan. And I'm going to put about a half a cup of mozzarella, both of them. And some people don't put this much, but I do. And one egg beaten. You didn't clean that bowl out. What bowl? That one you just throwed in the thing there with all that egg in it. Well, I will wash it when I'm not cooking. Well, your mama always said be sure to get all that out. Oh, you mean the egg? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, after you done throwed it in the nasty sink. David, I haven't run no water or nothing. It's just sitting right here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why don't you mind your own business? I usually often have to tell you when I'm cooking. <laughs> Well, I'm just telling you ahead of time because someone else probably will well, in the comments. thanks for that. Okay, it's time to assemble. So, I'm going to use this one's probably a 9 by 13, but it's round instead of going that way. And I need a different spoon for that. Let me see. We got to save my cousin a little bit of this. He just got out of the hospital. So he's always been wanting to have some lasagna, but we haven't, we've been telling him all summer we're going to make that. it. Now, I like to put just a, a little bit of sauce or a whole lot of sauce, however much you want to put on the bottom. It'll keep the noodles from sticking to the bottom. Makes sense, don't it? Mm -hmm. Got some on there. Okay, let's put a noodle. Should be good and drained. Let me get out of your way and you come over here. 
No, I work right there just like that. Do you dumped them in the sink? Yeah, in this. In oh, this, in that. Okay. In this bowl, I did. <laughs> that goes that nose problem of yours again. <laughs> he don't know the first thing about cooking, but he does ask some good, legit questions sometimes. He's gonna make sure I didn't forget about that Italian season about telling it. Yeah, of course she told me about it after I cut the phone off. She goes, "Oh, I forgot to tell him I put a." A little bit of that in there. And I said, well, you better make sure you say it when I come back home. We don't want to leave nothing out. That's important. <clears throat> I wasn't going to use that lid, but now it's dirty. Okay, I'm going to put probably three noodles on the bottom. They're not going to be exactly right, but that's okay. And if you want more, if your pan's bigger, you feel free to do that. How much hamburger meat did you start off with? A pound. Okay. Look at that whole skillet's full. Yeah, I'm just trying to give people an idea of what you're doing. Now, I will use more cheese than this. I sure do. I, I use some of this Italian and more mozzarella. A little bit later. Yeah. Well, in a minute. This is actually pretty easy to make. It's easy to make. It just takes a long time to cook. Well, I mean, good. I mean, I think I could even do this. You think so? Well, good. We're going to let you make it next time. <laughs> um, okay. I'll try. Will you? I mean, it looks easy, though. It it is. It looks easy. It's just like when you're rebuilding the carburetor, it looks easy until you start doing it. And then I know you, you'll freak out. I want you to cook something for the people, though. For our community, for our people. Now that's enough. It doesn't have to be perfectly spread. A little more meat sauce. It doesn't have to be a half a gallon. But we do want it to cover it a little bit, you know. So you're just kind of skimming it. Looks like to me you're just kind of doing a skim. Well, it, if you if you put too much, here's what's going to happen. It's never going to set up where you can cut it. Okay. Hmm. And you got a lot of stuff in the middle of there now. Now, I know you didn't use that Italian on when you put it. No, but I'm going to use it now. Yeah. I like to put a nice layer of Italian cheese on there because I love it. And it would probably been better if I had put it on top of the noodles. But it's okay. This melts in between and it's got all the Italian cheese. cheese is real expensive right now. Yes, it is. Well, I got it when it was a dollar <clears> and <throat> fifty-seven or forty-seven. Well, a you won't see that. You won't I know. You'll no never see long. that again. Probably not. Never, never. Well, everything's going nuts. Do you crisscross yours or just you don't same way? No, yeah. but. I do have four for the very top, so that, you know, this pan's made a little different. I probably should have, but I think it's going to work out just fine, what do you think? It always does for you. I know. <laughs> it really Usually, does. I mean, very seldom it ever turns out different. I mean, bad, I mean. Only that one time I could think of over the years. What was it, that biscotti that had... Something in it or something. Buschetti. Oh, it was spaghetti. This is lasagna day. I know, but I'm talking about that. something you goofed up a long time ago. It was spaghetti, and he ate it anyway. I couldn't believe he didn't have it. Well, what to. was wrong with it? I can't remember. I put, I had this little tiny thing of nutmeg and a little tiny thing of chili powder. And instead of putting the chili, instead of putting the chili powder, I grabbed the nutmeg. I forgot that I had that in nutmeg, and that was all she wrote. It was weird tasting, but I ate it anyway. Yeah. I... You know, I'm going to start all over with this cheese. I'm going to put the Italian on top of the noodles. What did I do a while ago? You done made me forget, David. Sorry. I guess it's time for this, isn't it? <clears throat> it looks like coleslaw. It does. He don't eat coleslaw except on this one sub that we buy. 
And that's the only thing he eats it on. He, if we get KFC or something, he don't eat it. You know what? I don't need to... I may end up with that sauce making them some more noodles, so I'm going to save just a little bit of this. I'm going to wash that just two minutes. Now, did your mom ever make lasagna when you was little? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't ever recall my mom ever making it either. Well, you know she ain't made it, you've never ate it down there, have you? No, I'm t uh, no, not at your place. Oh, like growing up? No, no she uh, never made it was growing up either. I don't think <clears> so. It's just something that we wouldn't have been able to afford. Now, I remember my great aunt used to make it, and it was really, really good. Good. Her name was Murtis, and she really was a great cook. That reminds me, I bet uh, yeah, her Morris daughter was, was a good cook. She really was. Her daughter, I bet, would give us some um, some of her recipes. I want to ask her when we go up. Okay. What? She invited us up. Does she move? No, she lives in the, in the old place. Oh, oh, that's right. I thought she moved. <laughs> that's the only time I ever had it when I was a kid that I can recall. I love mozzarella cheese, and I like extra mozzarella cheese. But this is more Italian, and the mozzarella's in the Italian. You probably don't have to buy anything but this if that's all you want to use in it, because you can put just this in the cheese mix. So you you don't mix all the cheeses up on you kind of. You can if you don't have this, just mix the white cheeses that you got together. And, there and you make go. each layer the same, or you making each layer I different. I am making them the same. <clears throat> When the top layer, when this gets real good, now watch, I'm going to do this a little bit different. I washed these off yeah, a little bit ago. No, you didn't. You were cutting my hair with them earlier. That's a lie. I've got <laughs> hair cutting scissors that I cut your hair with. I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. You're getting you. good at lying today, ain't you? I do need a haircut wow, really wee. bad. Whoppers. I'm telling you, whoppers. I do need a haircut. I'm going to cut it while this is cooked and I'll cut you it. You ain't got time for that tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. I'll cut it. I think I got time. I'm getting to look like a hippie. I know. Pup. Just a pup. Roof. Roof. <laughs> David Hall, I pick on him all the time. He but you know, when I was a kid, though, when uh, we lived in this one place in the city, one time, yeah, and all the kids had long hair and bell bottoms, and I wouldn't go to school unless I had long hair and a bell bottoms. Well, you kind of want to be the same as the rest of the kids. You and know? so when we went to Grandpa something, the other uh, Grandpa said, "Can't you afford to get him a haircut?" I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this, and I'll freeze that sauce what I don't use. What I'm gonna do is just put this on, and then I'm gonna put the sauce and then some extra cheese. How about that? So mom cut it in my sleep and I woke up one morning and it was all messed up. Oh no. And I was crying and throwing a fit and wouldn't go to school. Guess what I done one time. Mommy was so mad at me but they all wanted her hair cut so you know I always was mommy's helper because heck I was four <clears> years <throat> older. My, the one next to me I'm four years older and uh so they wanted a hair cut, and I cut the hair for them. I got a bow. It was a plastic bow about like this, and turned it up on her head, but it would come down a little bit, and I cut every one of them according to that bow. Oh, it looked like mode. <laughs> and then I made the bangs shorter. Mommy was so mad at me, but they liked it. All the girls you done that too? I cut four girls. I cut every one of them's hair. They didn't grow back for a while then anyway. Mommy was going to work. I gave them, almost gave them a pixie, but it, it was just short all the way around the same length. <laughs> Mommy said, I want to kill you. And I said, well, they wanted a haircut, so I gave it to them. I wonder if anyone remembers that. I don't know. I, I need to tell them about that, because I don't know if they do or not. Who was the next one older than you? Next, younger than me, but four years. I mean, which one's the... Uh... Becky. So she might remember it, yeah. She might remember it, getting yeah. a bowl cut. <laughs> I think it might have, it could have probably. I made it the... Um... Uh, it's what was in style. <laughs> when you seen four of them at the same cut, that was in style. Now, at that time, the short hair was in style, but I don't think anybody put a bow around their head and cut it. 
I always wanted to be a cosmetologist, but I never could, I couldn't get in there in the vocational school. It was full, so I took something that nobody uses anymore, and that was shorthand. And now I don't remember it, and plus... Um, but you could type good if your hands ain't hurting real bad like they usually if are. If my but... hands ain't hurting, I can, but usually if I do too much of it, it gets them to hurting. Yeah, it don't take much. Sometimes I can't hardly use them. I have to get injections in them just to be able to use them. So that happens all the time. They look okay, but sometimes they can <clears throat> give me a fit. Now, this right here, David, let's put some... Oh, did I turn... I didn't turn that on. Doggone it. Okay, we're going to go 375. Let that heat for a few minutes while we yak, and then it'll be okay. To me, as a, as a, as a lasagna, it's got to have a lot of cheese to be good. But that's just my opinion, okay? <laughs> I usually use a whole lot. And that's what takes it so long to set up for me. Be good and stretchy. And I might just throw a little bit more of <clears> this <throat> on top of it. Because he likes Parmesan a lot. I like all cheeses except for cottage cheese. Ooh, I like cottage cheese. You never had no cottage cheese and peaches or pineapple? Mm -mm -mm. It's good with them. And I'm going to eat. That's what I'm going to eat. Now I'm not throwing an awful lot more of this on there. Because I'm going to put a little more mozzarella too. And then we're going to get her in the oven here in just a minute. So this could be called a basically a four cheese counting the cottage cheese. Yeah, four cheese lasagna. Actually, it's more than that. You see the cheeses that's in here. You got oh, you got some different ones. Mozzarella, provolone, Parmesan, Visagio, or something like that. Romaine, Romania. So more than that, really. I don't want to see the sauce on the top. Is what the problem is. <laughs> But I do, I do use a lot of cheese in it, and I, I'll tell you what, I usually use three, four, five, or six bags of it. Depends on which dishes I'm using. But don't that look delicious? Darn tootin', I can still smell it, and I'm, a, I'm wanting to dive into it already. My, my, It'll be even better after it's cooked. My appetite's coming back a little bit. I know, I, I told him <coughs> earlier, what was that I told you? I said, I can smell that, finally. I can breathe, but I just couldn't smell, couldn't. Something I smelled a while ago. Well, I hate not to use the rest of that, but that's okay, I reckon. I'll let him eat it. He'll eat it. Throw him a little cheese on top of it and he'll eat it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to fix me some foil. And uh, I don't think I need to. I was going to spray it, but I don't think I'm going to need to. What do you think? I don't know. You the cook. I might spray it anyway a little bit. I'm just a nut with the camera. <laughs> He's getting better with it, but I've watched some things sometimes. I say, David, it'd be nice if you could do this. If maybe one day he'll learn how to do it. He's trying. He's trying real hard. And so I'm proud of him. Now I'm probably, since this bowl is kind of deep, it's probably two inches a little more than that deep. So I'm going to... Um, It'll probably have to cook about an hour, so I'll probably put it in there for 50 minutes and then um, take the foil off for a little bit and let it cook about 10 or 15 more. Got it? I got it, but you might have to get it back out. Yeah, I'll get it out. Heavy. Yeah, I know it's Whew. heavy. I'm going ahead and put it in, even if the oven's not ready, so we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so... While we're waiting, go ahead and fix me up the rest of this stuff here. Yep, I will. And um, you can have some up if you want it. And... And then we'll come back in an hour, I guess, and check it or something. Okay, we'll be back in about 50 minutes, probably. <laughs> he was counting down for me. I'm going to take the foil off of this so it can brown some. Get that cheese a little brown on the top. I see smoke. It's a steam. <clears throat> steam, baby, steam. Ooh, look how good. Good day. Look at the yeah. grease off of that. Smells pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're going to let that boil <clears throat> just a little bit and then we'll be ready to take her out. Are you going to cut the oven off? No. It's got to brown. It can't brown with the oven. Okay. Turned off, can it? I don't know. What kind of question was that? 
I'm gonna put it on broil for a few minutes. I think. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let it go like this for a few minutes and brown a little bit. About ten minutes and we'll be right back. Good. Right. The heat come out and get my glasses. You ready? Uh -huh. You want me to help you? I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Looks good. All with that grease on the top. And I drained that good. Oh. Oh. It don't smell good, don't it? Yeah, it looks good too. I can't wait to eat it. Well, we're gonna let this sit here about 30 minutes and cool, and then we'll be back to cut it. So we're gonna wait 30 minutes. Uh, 20 to 30, probably 15. So we'll what, I'll look at it in 15 to 20. So you see. stuck it in there for? An hour and, what time is it? I don't know if it's something. It is. Uh, <clears throat> it was an hour and 10 minutes altogether. This bowl's a little bit thicker than a regular 11 by 13. So you turned the oven up to what, to 400? Me, it's a little deeper. And then you... Doing what you call brown on the top or something, mm -hmm. and and you said it. I like to cheese brown some around, see. Oh, okay, that's what you was trying to say. Don't that look good? And you done it for how long, like that? Oh, about ten to fifteen minutes, but I turned the oven up to four hundred. Okay. From um, four twenty-five to four hundred, three seventy-five to four hundred. Well, it sure <laughs> does smell good, though. So. That'll all settle in real good. All right, so we. You gonna come back in a minute? You Is say. it burnt? I don't know. I hope it ain't. I'm gonna be so mad if that's burnt. Have you ever burned it before? Nope. It might be a little brown on the bottom. We're still gonna eat it if it is. Okay, let's cut that off. And we'll be back in 30 minutes. Well, 15 to 20. Let's put like that. Whenever it's ready. We'll see in a few. It's just letting it set up or whatever. Yes. Let me tell you something before I forget. I, I can't find the name on it now, but whoever sent the beautiful <clears throat> apron, there was two other little things in there that made it. All the jewelry made it and a couple of knickknacks, but the salt and pepper shakers and one of the other knickknacks just broke all to pieces. So I still got them in the box. The let me see an apron. That's nice. Ain't that pretty? It's very pretty. I don't know if it's going to fit me or Sadie. Probably me. If not, we'll put it on Sadie. It's pretty. I like it. It's a different texture. Feels good. But I want to let you know that the box wasn't really crushed in, but you could tell a little bit that it was mashed in. But that uh, three different things were broke. The salt and pepper and something else. Let me show you what actually made it. You stay right there, David. Mm. Well, that's all right. And sometimes it happens that way. Yeah, these two. Well, that's the I like apron that one. and the jewelry. But that's for Sadie, though. Yeah, ain't? that's for Sadie. I may have to keep that. Well, it says Sam and Linda from Ohio. Yeah, Sam and Linda. I was wondering where that was at. I like that. I had it on a notepad. Well, that's broke, too, I believe. Y'all always get something. I don't ever get no goodies. That's broke, too, but anyhow, the box wasn't crushed up very bad, so I'm not sure why they were broke. I guess just knocked around real heavy. Well, you think anyway. That's... Well, they had handled with carrying stuff on it. Well, you're thankful anyway. So. Yeah, I'm very thankful for it. And so if David wants to keep that, I don't know if it'll be no, David it to... or Sadie. No, I'll give it to Sadie. It's supposed to be for her. All right. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Okay. Okay, we've let this cool and everything, so we're going to see if we can get it out. So, I hope I can get it out without it tying all the pieces. It's still pretty mushy on the inside. How long you let it sit? About 20? About 20, yes. Watch well, it fall all the part coming out. The stove's unleveled a little bit, you said. Yeah. It made it um, a little bit funny. I hope I can get that out without it tying all the pieces. Watch it tear up, and I'm going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> I guess it'll still be edible. Well, if, you, if I wasn't doing this, you wouldn't have any trouble. Probably not. Look, I'm doing this. This All is right, the... here goes. Here goes nothing. Oh, I done good. And he'll eat that and then some. It came right out, didn't it? Oh. Why don't you do it right here in this? Oh, it sure does smell good. Looks good, don't it? Sure does look good. Mm. I've heard of... There's some people put corn in there too, don't they? Corn? Well, they, there's all kinds of different stuff that can be put in lasagna. This is the first time you've made it on this stove anyway. I do a simple meat and vegetable <clears> like <throat> that. And, well, a few vegetables. 
Here goes. Since I don't know why I thought it, I must have been thinking about my great aunt a long time ago. <laughs> well, you've ate my stuff for so oh, long. Oh, yeah. This is the first time you've done it in a long time, though. Mm hmm. But I mean, for the show, we messed it up. This is the third time. We actually got it. We got it out of the oven. And we last time we ate it, but he went to bed. It was late and he went to bed. He was so tired. Well, we couldn't get it to go all the way anyway. All right, let's see if we get a thumbs up on it. I hope so. He's got a whole bowl to eat. <laughs> You're smacking. Ooh. Ooh. What do you mean, ooh? That's good. Oh, boy. <laughs> nah. Give me that fork so I'll stab you with it. Ah, that's major good. Come here. You scared me. His hair sticking all up like um, some kind of a mad scientist or something. Because <laughs> I need a haircut. It really, it really is. It's like, woo, the little bald spot going on, and the rest of it's like sticking straight up. I'm going to give you a haircut as soon as I can. You want it tonight or tomorrow? No, you've done worked enough today. Mm -hmm. Well, that is so good. Okay, everybody. I'm not going to go through the P.O. box and stuff tonight. Watch the last show, and it's there. Okay, well, we love you guys. and. Yeah, we're getting a few things going on here. We getting to feel a little better, hopefully. We'll stay a little better. This good with the family, so I hope you all make it. It's a little bit expensive in it, but it's okay. Yeah, but it's kids good. will tear it up. It. Like a bunch of piranha fish. For some reason, children like those recipe that I've done last night. Uh, he'll get it on soon, and this one too. Okay. We love you guys. Please be safe. Wear your mask. Even if you... See, David wasn't wearing a mask, and he brought his coat, but I always wear my mask, and I've been very fortunate. Even after injection... Well, we don't know for it. sure. You might have got it out the grocery shop. Or right something. now... But more likely, I did it. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't... I'm I don't wearing that mask now. I don't now. take that mask off nowhere. I'm wearing it. But anyway, y'all take care. Please wear your mask and get your injections and stay safe. And we love you guys and God bless. We'll see you next show. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to do that.